Today we are in Worcester. The reason we're here is because a very generous subscriber called Dan Rhymes donated 65 buy me a coffee drinks. And so I'm a man of my word. I said to people, if they want me to come to their city or town, I am gonna come. And here we are in Worcester. I've never been here before. Um, it's saying it's pretty quiet on the delivery app. So I think we're gonna be having to accept every single order, but we have got an order from Yo Sushi. Hi, yeah. Got a delivery order 7065. Okay, guys, so I had an SD card problem, but the order is here. And uh, my GoPro just shut off. So this customer's four minutes away. I have a feeling that a lot of the orders are going to be quite close. Right here in the center of Worcester, it's pretty flat. But as soon as you go a little bit out of the city or the city center here, it seems very hilly. What a beautiful home. It's like something out of Lord of the Rings. Hey, uh, it's Laura. Awesome. There you go. Thank you. Have a great day. We made £3.41 on that. It took me less than five minutes to deliver that order. And it's saying it's not busy on the delivery app, but I'm getting back-to-back -back orders. As soon as I delivered the last one, I got one straight away. So it could mean that there's not so many orders, but there isn't enough delivery riders or drivers because otherwise them orders would have been gobbled up already. Okay, so we're picking up from Zizi's. Ah, it's just here. Oh, literally just here. Uh, where can I park my bike? Um, I don't know if it's... Uh, it's definitely not probably a good idea just to leave it outside. I'll just park it up here. Hiya, I've got uh, two delivery orders. Sh sure. Hi. Oh, I can just go through the back. Yeah. Okay, sure. I'm just gonna nip to the toilet. Yeah, okay, right. is that upstairs, right? Oh, this one here, yeah. So we've got the one end in one, five, nine, eight. five eight. That'll go in first. And then we've got the one end in three five. Perfect. And then that one on top. You Thank you very much. I will do. No problem. There Perfect. you go. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. All right, guys. So we have a double order. Two customers. I don't think I really should be cycling here, but uh, I don't think I'm doing any harm, so I don't see the problem. And I was dying to go for a leak. It took uh, about an hour and a half to get here from Nottingham, and uh, usually that's the first thing I need to do, just because it's just uh, yeah, a long way. That's what I love about England. You've got very unique streets just like this very narrow and uh, lots of character you got like these kind of old style I think like Tudor housing and you got the modern restaurants and bars and shops Should I just deliver an order yeah <laughs> I'm not going for a pint <laughs> I uh, got a delivery order for Stacy awesome no problem <laughs> There you go. Do you have the uh, two digit codes? Should be on the app. 82, yeah. That's a big bogey. What was that, sorry? Uh, this one is like seven years old, this electric bike. My dad actually designed this one. Yeah, yeah I'm from Nottingham. But uh, this one, when he was selling it, was around 1,800 pounds. But uh, that was a long time ago. It's done 20,000 miles, something like that, yeah. <laughs> Super nice delivery here so far. 
really interesting buildings. Um, people are here quite nice uh, so far, <laughs> but uh, I, I was pretty sure like when I was going to come here that it was going to be nice, but it's looking a little bit of traffic. I think I can go through. Yeah, I'm going to go through. I think there's just a little bit of roadworks, but I'm going past this McDonald's. Just coming down. Awesome, thank you so much. Bye. Awesome. My second order because for some reason Coco de Mamas have got the gluten free option in two different places for different ones. So we made £4.71 on that double order. It's now saying moderate, so sh things should be getting busier. I haven't seen any delivery riders or drivers here, which is interesting. Um, we're gonna have to check out the uh, the center a little bit more as we do more deliveries we'll be able to see if this place is going to be a really good place to deliver uh chesterfield was a five for me uh loughborough was i would say seven or eight it was pretty good uh, this looks like this could be an eight or nine if it carries on like this so far it seems worcester is very bike friendly i feel very comfortable riding my bike here i don't feel like there's drivers who are going to be causing me any issues uh, by driving strangely. Uh, we just got an order from Waitrose. So we're going to pick this one up. It's about eight minutes away from the center. I'm just kind of accepting everything, like I said, but uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. I've only been delivering for about half an hour, but uh, it seems very nice here. Not that many riders or drivers, so competition is low getting order after order pretty much people are friendly so Dan Rhymes I really appreciate you uh, hooking me up with the 65 drinks and that really helps uh, encourage me and motivate me to go to different places because the first thing I look at is the fuel um, and then I have to like cover that with the deliveries and that's pretty difficult uh, especially nowadays um, and with 65 drinks you've obviously more than more than uh paid for the fuel so i really appreciate that it helps support the channel um and uh hopefully we can go to more places around the uk especially while the sun's you know sun the sun's not out today but while the weather's nice and we arrived at waitrose looks very new and modern this one i can imagine in a place like worcester i get the vibe that it's quite an affluent uh affluent city that they have uh, they would have a waitrose like this I need to find where I can park my bike this is nice a bicycle park nice and spacious close to the entrance the bike parks always tend to be quite a bit of a distance from the actual entrance to the shopping places, the shopping centres. This, this one's not too bad. Oh dear guys, look at everything on here. This is going to be a huge order. Uh, I don't want to waste time and reject this one. Let's see how many bags it is. Uh, the, this is one of the issues with uh, delivery orders for supermarkets. I wish mine's as easy as that. I don't think it is. <laughs> We've got six three seven six. All right. How many? Three bags. Okay. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah. My back might not be, but. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, what's the heaviest one? Oh, that's light. This one. Things easier. It's a light one.
<laughs> I think I'll be able to take this. I'll just carry the bag on the handlebars. It's only around the corner, so it's not too bad. You know, uh, on the delivery app, they don't actually tell you how many items you get until you get here. Yeah. Yeah, so I just, I was like, oh no. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'll be fine, it's not too bad. Cheers. So I'm gonna have to put this on the handlebars, which is not ideal, but don't want to uh, come all this way because it took me 10 minutes to get here. And then uh, otherwise that's a waste of time and money. Okay guys, so we're taking a little bit of a shortcut. Got the drinks bag here on my arm. Never had to do that, but there's about 50 items on this. So I've, I rarely get these. Am I going, where am I going? Going this way. So we are really going out into the countryside right now. Oh God. How's it going? Good, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. That's one. We've got two more here. <laughs> I wasn't too sure how I was going to carry it all. Oh, gosh, well done. <laughs> yeah. <like> yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, is Deliveroo doesn't actually tell you like what you're getting until you arrive at the place. So you might not be prepared to Exactly, carry all this yeah. Stuff. I've had sometimes, because I do, I'm lazy, I do my grocery shop and yeah. have Deliveroo bring it and they'll have like two two people come and bring one. Oh yeah, you can so. actually split the order. I forgot about yeah. that. I wish they would stop doing this though. You know, some places put a tape on Yeah, it's, it's easier to. These catch your fingers. Oh, has it caught you before? Yeah. Like, yeah. So I'll have to tell them <laughs> when I get up there. A driver came in to pick, a, pick up an order. All he had was toilet paper. And then I came in and I was like, I've got three bags. So like the driver, he's got a car. <laughs> Oh, Anyways, oh. appreciate that. Thank oh, you so man. much. Thank you. Bye. Uh, Jay. Jay, thanks for Was there Alicia? Alicia. Alicia, Alicia. Alicia. Nice you. to meet you. Bye. Okay, guys, so we made £3.52 on that order. And I just have a sneaky suspicion that I might get a tip on that one. Um, I wasn't fishing for a tip. I was just being nice. Uh, but you never really know, to be honest. Even the nicest customers are the wealthiest ones. Uh, sometimes never tip and it's very rare uh, but we're heading back into the center of uh, Worcester I want to show you the cathedral because it would not be right of me not to show you the cathedral look how really nice these roads are I feel like I'm in I don't know a movie a very posh movie where uh, yeah it's really nice actually I mean the restaurants aren't around here it's just Waitrose but uh, it is saying not busy on the delivery app. So I think I need to be right in the center to keep going. And we are coming back into Worcester right now, into the city center. All right guys, so Worcester is known for being a cathedral city. We're outside. Worcester Cathedral right now so uh, we're gonna have a little take we're gonna have a little look around sorry around the cathedral while I'm waiting for orders it's gone pretty quiet but uh, as you can see we're just outside the cathedral but I must say guys Worcester is a really nice place to I mean it seems like a nice place to live um, seems very relaxed um, nice place to there's lots of shops and restaurants and it seems like quite an affluent area so it probably it's quite expensive to live here but uh, right now I think you can actually go inside I don't know if I want to go inside but just wanted to give you a little look around the, uh, the place whilst we're waiting for an order let me check my phone actually yeah it's saying not busy on the delivery app this looks like the entrance to the cathedral. And, uh, wow, like the, the architecture of the building is amazing. 
It's uh, over 900 years old from what I actually put into chat GPT. Uh, give me some facts about Worcester for a YouTube video. And it said uh, it's over 900 years old and we've got the bells in the background. Got the garden here. Also talked about Worcester sauce being like originating from Worcester, which makes sense. Look at the, wow, I've got a really cool view here, guys. Look at this. I don't know if I can, you guys can see that. With the bridge, all the swans. And look at this, guys. Look how beautiful it is. It's not as big as the one, um, where was it? In York. York's also a cathedral city, I'm pretty sure. They've got a massive cathedral there. Let's go down here, have a little look. We'll, uh, we'll have a look around here. I can actually, I think I can go down here, see what there is there. walk down here so I think these stairs down here lead to there so uh, I hope you're enjoying the tour <laughs> the delivery is really not busy right now so I can have a little gander around here let me know if you enjoy these parts of the videos because uh, I want to do more stuff like this, but I don't know if people are interested in it. And I think when I travel around uh, around the UK and I go to places, again, thanks, shout, big shout out to Dan Rhymes for making this happen. This video is pretty much dedicated to you, mate. As soon as, like I woke up in the morning and I saw like 65 and I, I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought maybe it's six, maybe I'm just seeing things because when I wake up, I'm a little bit foggy. And then I saw 65 and I was like, whoa, um, I, uh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, and the first thing I did was I messaged uh, my girlfriend. I was like, this is crazy. There's a guy called Dan who just donated 65. I wanted to go to Worcester and now we're here. Uh, so thanks again. And uh, I think we're going to go back to Ooh, look at this view. Check out this view, guys. Hiya. Yeah. Got some, uh, just people wondering what I'm doing, talking to my camera. But uh, I wanted to come to Worcester to make a video. I was looking at the places that aren't too far because it takes around an hour and a half to get here, which I'm happy to go like two hours out because I can do it in a day. But if I want to go to some places like, I know, Southampton or, I don't know, Portsmouth or Edinburgh, then uh, I have to, uh... yeah, then I have to basically plan that out. I have to spend six hours in the car and I probably have to stay over. So um, if you want me to come to your town or city to do videos, to, get to, to basically have me whirling around, whirling around, running around your city or town doing deliveries, then uh, put in a decent, Drinks donation, I'm not gonna say how many. Hey guys, we've got an order from Five Guys. It's gonna be safe to leave my bike out here. I don't get the vibes that there's many thieves here, but you never really know. But I think this one should be fine. Okay. All right, I got delivery order. Yeah, Cheers. There's a milkshake as well. Right? Oh, cheers. Well, that's the milkshake. Yeah. Cheers, thank you. No worries. Five guys don't change. It doesn't matter where you are, you're going to be waiting quite a long time for your order. And they, uh, yeah, I just didn't get the best of vibes in there, but it could be just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> that guy just, that person just went through a red light, I swear. 
I've also made a pretty big error. I forgot to charge my power bank and my phone is on low battery. So I need to find a power bank that's charged up or I need to go into maybe a calf, like a coffee shop or a cafeteria or something and ask someone to charge up my phone, which is uh, not a good, which is not good. So cycling wise guys, uh, so cycling wise guys, it's pretty bike friendly here. I uh, feel pretty safe on my bike. Really easy, nice roads and uh, bike paths like this. Drivers aren't driving like lunatics here, which is a good thing. And just overall, the feeling of cycling here is pretty nice. You do have some hills, but around the center, you, you don't really have that problem. It's more as you go out towards the suburbs. And then you've got nice uh, cricket pitches like this. So we're a little bit outside of city center not too far out but there is a lot of shops here a lot it tells you it's an affluent area because people are happy to spend their money here hi yeah how's it going you. that's all right no worries that is your food 76 76 is the code, code. and uh, that's your milkshake there oh, that's lovely. thank you very much you too, bye bye. Okay guys, we made £3.72 and I'm going to go to Ryman's to buy a power bank. I'm hoping it's going to be already charged up, but I've got a feeling it might not be. Um, and the issue is I've got 10% battery left on my phone and I haven't got my wallet. I've only got Apple Pay. <laughs> so do not make the same mistake I have done, which is going kind of across the country without the proper equipment charged up okay guys so this is a little bit of a nightmare because i'm so far from home i wanted to film a video also in stratford upon avon after this without a power bank this is going to be really tricky but i found a solution look here i found a usb port just going into there um into my battery just here and it is actually charging it up um slowly but it is charging it up. I have brought a spare battery in the van. So I think on the way to stratford upon avon I'm gonna hook up the battery to the phone. Whilst we're still here, I'm going to keep it connected to the battery because I'm not really doing too much mileage here. So quick thinking, that's what we need. And also saving money because I don't want to spend money on a power bank that's what I've got. I've got a spare one at home. I took it out, I think, on my bag. So we want to save money. We want to kind of think out that's outside the box. And I, I thought it wasn't going to work because I tried it, I think like two, a year or two ago and it wasn't working, but now it's working. So fingers crossed, this is adding complexity to the, to the filming situation. So yeah, that's it. So the battery isn't really charging my phone up. It's just keeping it at the same level or it's charging up very slowly. So uh, this complicates things. I can still do deliveries because it's not dropping. That's the most important thing. Um, but we need to get orders and the orders are really dried up. It's quarter to two. Um, there isn't that many. I had more orders in um, Loughborough uh, compared to here. So although it's really nice to, uh, to, um, to deliver here, Without orders, it's not really fruitful. I think we've made something like 13 pounds in uh, probably an hour and 45 minutes. This could be the reason why there isn't as many delivery riders or drivers here. Maybe they've tried it out before and there isn't uh, enough orders for them to kind of make a living from it. And uh, it is bank holiday Monday coming up and it's the end of the month plus half term so people probably are spending or have spent all their money or they're planning to spend it all on the half term and bank holiday um, which means they have less money to for deliveries okay guys we're gonna grab a meal deal and a drink I think I'm going to grab some vegetable sushi. OK, 
Okay guys, we're gonna get a £3.90 meal deal. I was thinking about bubble tea, but I feel like I need to get some lunch because I am far from home. I haven't had any breakfast. Got a Gatorade, vegetable sushi, and a Snickers peanut bar, or peanut butter bar. Uh, need to scan the star. Oh, someone set the alarm on. Sushi. Okay. Snickers bar, come on. There you go. Is uh, £3.90 the club card price or do I need to scan my you card? You need to scan, scan the it, okay. Yeah. Well, that's nice. You can add the club card to the wallet. Would you like to continue? Yes, I would like to um, scan the club card. Club card accepted. There we go. So it's £3.90 but £3.40 with the club card. Pay by a card. Please tap or insert your payment card. Thanks for shopping at Tesco. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. All right, £3.40. It was £3.90, so that's actually pretty good. Drink, some sushi, and a snack. Haven't had a meal deal in so long. No time to have my meal deal. We got an order from Nando's, and I'm just swiping every single order I can get because... Uh, they're in very low supply. This order is from Nando's. It's a very quiet city. Like the, the vibe is very chill, very quaint, quiet. They're the right words. So when I'm talking uh, on my bike, everyone can hear me. It's, uh, I'm getting more used to that. All right, guys, so we have come to Nando's, and uh, I think... Oops. So the instructions on the, on the delivery app in the note section. Okay, riders pick up here. Uh, you got a double two, double four? Okay for me. I will do. Thank you. <laughs> it's funny over here, they all say to accept, but they don't even look at it. So we'll just collect that one there. They really should add in the notes to riders and drivers to come around the back. Same with the first order with ZZs. And then I would know because uh, I'm not going to waste time going around the back of restaurants if I don't know there's a pickup order or like a pickup place. This customer's only three minutes away. It'll take about five minutes to get there. Ooh, what was that on my uh, bike? Sounded pretty bad. Um, so the battery is charging up my phone battery. So my bike battery is charging up my phone battery, but very very slowly i'm not going to be able to go to stratford upon avon today because uh it's not going to charge it up to 100 uh so i'm going to go there probably tomorrow and i'm just going to do more deliveries here just to make up for it this definitely feels more like a town than a city it's got a very similar feeling to like york i would definitely recommend coming down here probably for like a day or two and it's, it's a perfect day trip from what i can see Oh, yeah, how's it going? Just that one there for you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Hi, uh, did I just deliver a delivery order to you? No, to me, I think Okay, I needed the code from them, but I can't, I can't actually get in contact with them. Do you know who that is? It was like a, a, a young girl in like her 20s. Uh, say that again, sorry? What did you say you need for me? Uh, a code, like a two-digit code for the delivery order. I can't get in contact with her because... Okay, I'll just go on. Thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, I just need the two-digit code on the app. 96. 96, awesome. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Cheers. So we made £2.90 on that delivery. 
I'm gonna go to the cathedral to munch on this uh, Tesco meal deal, give you a little bit of a review of what I've got. I need to go through the uh, high street here. I have not seen one single rider, but I have seen uh, one or two delivery drivers who just park up in the side streets. Um, yeah, still very pleasant here, like I said. I think a day trip is all you really need here. It doesn't seem like there's a, too much to do, but it is quite a small city. But it is very uh, unique in its character. Definitely recommend coming here. I would say uh, along the same lines as York. If there's more to do in York, I'd probably spend two days, two, three days in York. Alright guys, so I was ready to tuck into my Tesco meal deal. Got an order from Coco de Mama, ZZ's, the first order. Got the cathedral over there, but I wanted to eat kind of just over where these houses are. Really beautiful, like old brick houses. I love the roses over here. Um, we've got a Gatorade, so I'm going to drink this on the way to ZZ's, to the customer. And then we've got the I don't want this to melt, so uh, I've got to make sure this doesn't melt. And I've got my uh, vegetarian sushi just over here. So once we've delivered this order, hopefully we can tuck into the Tesco meal deal and the chocolate doesn't melt. All right, guys, back on. I even took my helmet off. So beautiful thing about this helmet is the clasps, like the little buckle bit here, it's magnetic. So it's really easy to get on and off. A bit expensive, but it's got MIPS protection. You see that clip there? I don't even need to really focus on um, doing up my helmet because uh, it's got that magnetic clasp. It's got MIPS, which keeps your head a bit more protected. Didn't leave anything behind, thank God for that. So Gatorade, apparently is the number one sports drink in the world. I didn't know that. We are coming up to the Coming to the back entrance, like they said earlier on. So I'm having this problem with delivery where it's not uh, saying arrived. So I have to refresh the app. There we go, it works when I refresh it. Hi mate, how's it going? Uh, Got the, I believe it's ready, can you check the box? This one here? Uh, it is, is just, just this one here? Just to check the number. Oh yeah, the number's right, yes. yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Appreciate that, thank you mate. <laughs> this customer's four minutes away. All the orders here are very close together. And uh, I just love the architecture here. Very historic. That's the charm of being here in England. There is so much history. I've been around the world and uh, traveling in my 20s and there is nothing really like the UK. I've got a fly that hit me. And I really appreciated that guy who's working in ZZ's. I like the way he talked to me. It made me feel like a human being. Um, he gave me the responsibility to check the order myself, which I like. It shows that they can trust you. Because some places they really don't trust you. Oh, they actually, uh, this is where they have a McDonald's. I'm not working on Uber Eats, so I hardly get any orders at McDonald's from Deliveroo, although Uber Eats is pretty dead nowadays. Oh, there's some riders here. I've got two riders here. Hi, uh, it's uh, Scott. Yep. Perfect. Thanks for coming outside. No problem. I was trying to look for the brown door. I was like, where is it? <laughs> okay, just the one for you Cheers, then. Mate. Thank Cheers. You very much. Have a good day. See it. Got some gentrified buildings here on the left. And a restored. It looks like it's the bridge. They've like restored it into like uh, lots of different kind of shops and 
Yeah, just lots of shops really. I've seen that it's got like a little bit of a Berlin vibe. I've seen that in Berlin where they turn the big bridges into kind of commercial places. I have nowhere. It's a city centre this way, so I'm gonna go this way. And you got little small little cute buildings like this. Really interesting uh, city, Worcester. It's actually really fun to cycle here because every turn is such a unique character. It's so different on uh, every little turn. It's like a completely different vibe. You won't believe this, guys, but I got a 10 pound tip, not from this day, like this delivery day, not from Worcester, but from Pasta Glory which I think is in Loughborough. Yeah, that's a Loughborough order. So the customer I delivered uh, pasta to from, it was from a dessert place. And I was uh, not too sure because it was like a ghost kitchen. So that customer gave me a 10 pound tip. That is just so generous. For some reason I thought it came from here, but like on Deliveroo, the tips seem to come in quite late, just randomly. Guys, I know who that £10 tip was from. It was the first customer in the Loughborough video where he basically said it was an emergency and wasn't at home. So I kind of went on a bit of a goose chase to find him. Um, a lot of people were like, he's not gonna tip. I didn't even think he was gonna tip, but he's just sent me £10. What a nice guy. Um, see, it pays off to be nice to people. I got a £10 tip. I'm also pretty sure that people um, who watched that video probably thought I did like a nice gesture or something nice for someone. And so someone like uh, Dan Rhymes, uh, it gives them an opportunity to support me in like giving me 65 treats. So acts of kindness definitely are a good thing. Like uh, it's not all about receiving. It's a lot of the times it's about giving back as well. And you'll end up, you'll end up, actually we need to go this way, for the cathedral. And you'll find that uh, when you give back to people, it comes back in very uh, surprising ways. I was not expecting the £10 tip. Like when it came through, I was like, whoa, like, <laughs> uh, I, that's, I think that's the biggest tip I've ever got. And it just shows you, if you're nice to people, it pays to be nice. Like I always say that, people will say, you know, nice guys finish last and things like that. But being nice to people always pays. I think the whole nice guys finish last, that's about kind of not having a backbone. Um, it's nothing to do with being actually nice to people. But um, we've got a little setup here. If you see, I've got my, my battery connected from my bike to my phone, set up there on my delivery bag so I can see if I get an order and uh, got the Gatorade. On a hot day like today, I came a bit earlier on and that's why I wore my thermals because it was a little bit cooler. This, there was no forecast for sun. So all the thermals, because it was quite chilly earlier on. Um, but Gatorade, I think it's a pretty good option when you're cycling. Um, it's got some sugar in there for sure. Yeah, some sugar. So that will keep you going. You don't really need carbs when you're on an electric bike. So um, although the sushi, which we're going to try in a sec. We've got, uh, it looks like different types of vegetable sushi. I don't really like seafood. So vegetable sushi or in, when I was living in New Zealand, I had a lot of like, chicken, beef, pork, uh, sushi, but it's hard to find that here. So we're going to dig in. I'm going to tell you how this Tesco meal deal is. I'll, I'll give you a rating as well. First things first, guys, you want to get the, uh, I think it's like soy sauce. You want to squeeze it into the sushi just like that we're gonna put a bit over everywhere i think that's enough i don't know where to put all this i'll put that there at the bottom i'm gonna try this one mm. so good i haven't had breakfast so this is uh, going to keep me fueled up. Got a bit of rice and vegetables. Pretty healthy, I'd say. And it keeps the, the, the rice, got a little bit of carbs just to keep me going. And then when I get back home late in the evening, 
I'll probably treat myself and have like a big meal. Mmm. Mmm. Really tasty. There isn't too much flavor there because it's just rice and vegetables, but maybe I'm just hungry. Mm. So what I usually do is, I don't really like eating before my shift. I like eating afterwards because I don't, I, I can't really ride my bike when I got a full stomach. And I like to treat myself afterwards because I feel like I've done like the workout. Mm. That one, that one there, not the best. <laughs> it's just rice with a bit of pepper in the middle. But uh, I'm going to give this one a go. It looks like it's a bit of pepper, rice, pretty much the same thing to be honest. It just tastes like rice to be honest. Okay, we're going to give this one. This one should have a bit more flavour. It's like green. Yeah, let's just give this one a go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's got coriander in it. I do not like coriander. So the, the ones I tried at the beginning were really good. The rest are just like rice. So I think this is going to have a, more flavor in it than the sushi. Got the Snickers bar. This is creamy peanut butter. It's interesting because they've got it in like little nugget pieces like this. Let's give this one a go. Oh yeah. Just more like it. Mmm. I love peanut butter and, cho and chocolate. It's such a good combination. Mmm. It's weird though because Snickers is usually not chewy, but because of the peanut butter, it's chewy. So I wonder how it is like to live in places like here. And to be like right next to the cathedral there. And she can just walk around the corner and you're like by the uh, by the water. Really chewy. <laughs> mm. I prefer the regular Snickers texture, which is like kind of nutty and kind of a little bit crunchy. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, kind of like caramel or toffee. Kind of chewy things, but uh, the flavors are there. The bells are ringing. I'm gonna put this in the bin. You can see the coriander rice. Not my, not my thing. I'm gonna give this meal deal, Tesco meal deal. I'm gonna give it a solid seven. The um, Snickers. Okay, I'm gonna chuck that in there as well. The Snickers peanut butter, but chocolate bar was so good. The Gatorade's really nice. I think this is a really good option for when you're delivering on a bike. But the sushi really let it down. So I think the sushi, if that was better, would have been like more of an eight or a nine. Just as we finished our lunch, our Tesco meal deal rated seven out of 10. That's the J rating. We've got uh, Azizi's order. Yeah, I've got 6146. Six. Yeah, so this is a big order. Same, same one, we're sharing it. Thank God for that. Got some help. I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> what was that, sorry? I didn't think it was that big. All oh, right. You have to get most of it into two bags. It's not that big. Is it just two bags? I think so. Well, we have an easier job now. Earlier on, I had a Waitrose delivery, which was three massive bags <laughs> and a driver comes in and he gets toilet paper <laughs> seriously great do you want to take the pizzas um it's just easier if i take this one yeah, no. cheers man thank you thank you cheers man it's I have to open this up, it takes yeah. time. Okay. See you there. <laughs> I'll beat you there. 
<laughs> okay guys we're three minutes away it's less than half a mile i've been cycling pretty hard trying to make sure i uh get there and get there first it's a little bit of light competition oh that's the guy that's the delivery driver just there i've lost i've lost guys you beat me to it <laughs> the nice thing is is you've got the doorbell for me now don't need to uh, wait i saw you going past i was like no i need to pedal faster it was because there was no traffic oh okay you know just just have to wait for an hour and then the traffic's bad traffic is really bad it, does it get busy for deliveries uh yes in the evening in the evening in the evening in the okay because it was especially i think so it will start to get busy uh, from tomorrow because uh, you know the guys with the council payments yep they're going to get it tomorrow oh you, so you know when they get the get paid is that so a lot of the customers are the people who get the council payments and they, are, they, they are the main ones they're the main uh, people you deliver yeah, to because last month yeah they are the main one thing yeah hi hey. hey. we've uh, we had a big order so we got split between us both hi, <laughs> okay um there you go lovely thank you so much have you got the two years yeah, a two-digit code oh on the app i should just say two numbers oh i'll have to go in the yeah, yeah go for it go for it yeah yeah no problem so uh, were you doing the deliveries last month or no uh, I'm actually from Nottingham. Sorry? I'm from Nottingham. From Nottingham okay. So I came down just to uh, just to see what it's like here. And it is good over here. It's good, but the lunchtime was on and off. It was like busy and it's then... It's not really busy how it used to be before because uh, the, like last year it was really busy. The last year was very busy, yeah. The, yeah. There like lots of drivers are coming here. Yeah. That's why. But the work is good, especially on the weekend, it is really good. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying lots of drivers have come to yeah. Worcester? Lots of Romanian guys. Okay, yeah. yeah. I've seen some in the town, yeah, in the in the, in the cars. Yeah. And so, so that's why it's like... Sorry, 81. 81, awesome. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Uh, it was nice to meet you, okay, anyway, man. See. I'll see you next time. Yeah, take care, man. So I got paid £3.13 and you got paid... Same, 31. Really? Just 20p more in the car? That's yeah. crazy. I think they would pay you maybe four pounds for this or something i don't know because normally this order yeah. it is around four pound but it is like really quiet at the moment so they drop the fares so they drop the fare. yeah so right. it's, it's not like this even like in even like the quiet quiet time yeah. it doesn't happen but it's happening these days it's happening these days because there are lots of drivers they there is a lot of drivers yeah well. if i will reject someone else will it, it they're good. gonna take it they're gonna take it like me i took it yeah. <laughs> all right take care man okay. cheers that guy was really sound was happy to share kind of the information and what he's saying is pretty true. Oh, we're going down here. Oh my god. Okay, this is fine. I need to be careful of this girl here. Oh, she's got headphones on, so she's not going to be able to hear me. Um, yeah, a lot of drivers have come on since the pandemic. So that is probably one of the biggest reasons why there isn't as many orders. People are still ordering, even with the cost of living. Yeah, people still have money to spend on uh, food delivery. I think even if there's a cost of living, yes, people are going to be a bit more. The sound of this bridge is uh, kind of off-putting when I'm talking. Let's try and cross this. Okay, now I can uh, focus. I'm going to get onto the road here. Yep. Got a nice little bridge coming up as well. Cheers, mate. It's got a nice bridge over here. We're going left. It's so unique here, Worcester. Just gotta be careful. I'm. Uh, I don't want to talk and uh, lose focus and hit someone. But it's uh, literally everywhere across the city. It's, there's so many unique features, like these bridges. They've got some bridges which are gentrified into like commercial units for shopping, and some of them probably sell food. And then you've got what looks like. The university just ahead that building in the in the distance and you got the accommodation right next to it then you got the cathedral you've got all the unique kind of buildings in the toward the city center definitely if you want a day out guys if you're with the family as well i think it would be i wish to gone left actually yeah we can go here still then uh, i would definitely recommend as a couple as a family coming here all right here's the gentrified units i was telling you about okay guys so we have made 24 pound 29 
and we've been working for three hours just a little over three hours works out to eight pounds per hour so the earnings aren't the best here uh, because there isn't as many orders and I can go here um, and you'll see from the video like such a really nice place to deliver on a bike even in a car people are friendly really nice things to see so with eight pounds an hour I mean if you're coming here to kind of treat it like a holiday and make some deliveries then it's worth it but if you're here this could be just lunchtime don't forget um, it could be just lunchtime that uh, it's like this dinner time could be very very busy because they've got lots of kind of evening um, or dinner time restaurants as opposed to lunch just like my Tesco meal deal I'm gonna give Worcester a seven a solid seven out of ten really nice place to deliver good atmosphere okay earnings like actually pretty you know I'm a little bit biased because I'm actually really enjoying myself but if I was here making eight pounds an hour it wouldn't be that great if I was earning more again like the sushi if the sushi was better I would definitely be giving this a higher rating maybe an eight pushing towards a nine but the earnings aren't there at least for a lunchtime shift all right guys I am back in the van we finished the shift. I want to say a big thank you to Dan Rhymes. I didn't read out his message just because I was actually quite flustered today. Had the SD card kind of mess up on me, so I had to use another SD card. So I've got to have to replace that one. Um, my power bank was dead. Um, trying to figure that out whilst doing deliveries because I need a power bank to charge up. Um, hey. So, um, you know, people come by and they. Uh, they uh, stare or you know look at me I would just say hello and he was actually really nice uh, he wasn't staring um, what was I back on to um, yeah so I had a lot of complications because I'm so far away from home that without my phone I'm like kind of lost uh, for doing deliveries for getting back home uh, but Dan rhymes massive shout out mate if you want me to go somewhere else let me know uh, 65 drinks is just so generous mate um he says been watching your content for a few months now really enjoyed every video you're a happy going person thank you so much i try to be like that I have, sometimes i have comments saying oh you're being a bit negative i'm like i'm trying to be real with how deliveries are i'm not going to be fake and if i'm unhappy about something i'm going to say it um and uh he says keep the good work and try to come to worcestershire it's not from it's not far from Nottingham. I suggest Worcester itself as where I live. There's not many Uber and delivery places in my local town. So we've come to Worcester. Thanks to you, Dan Rhymes. If anyone else wants me to come to their town, their city, or if you have a suggestion where you want me to go, uh, let me know in the comments. Again, if you are if you do want to support me, you can buy me a coffee in my um, description. You'll see a link. Um, I guess the more coffees you buy me, the, like the drink, sorry, the more motivated I am to go to the place you want me to go to because fuel cost um, is quite expensive in this van. We've got the uh, handy battery connected to my phone. It's charging and we've got about an hour and a half to get home. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Thank you so much. Uh, again, thank you, Dan Rhymes, and I'll see you guys in the next video.